Thank you. This is joint work with my colleagues Daniel Genkin, Mihir Patani, and Roy Schuster, and it addresses a problem of grave importance for many researchers, which is the following. When we have that video conference with a colleague and they appear somewhat distracted or disengaged, is that because they are pondering the open problems that we have posed to them or because they are browsing the blockchain? <laughs> now, they probably have a webcam for the, uh, con for the video conference, but it's pointing away from the screen. They also have a microphone placed in proximity to the screen, which raises the question, can we listen in on their screen? That is, are there acoustic side channels emanated by screens? To investigate this, we started by setting up a simple cover channel detection methodology. We uh, rendered simple zebra stripes across a screen of various thickness, and we recorded them using a microphone. And we observed that as we changed the thickness of the zebra stripes, the acoustic signature changes, and the spectral, li spectral lines shift. It, clearly, if different zebras have different acoustic signatures, there is image-dependent leakage. You can observe this leakage on LED and LCD screens for many manufacturers and of different models, including old ones as well as fresh ones of Amazon. And um, in all of these screens, we can observe this acoustic Van Eck, if you will, that um, uh, re reveals the content of the screens by the movements of uh, the frequency content. You can record this by many commodity microphones, such as uh, webcams or the Intel microphones built into many screens, phones, and to jump on the Internet of Things bandwagon, even your favorite digital assistant smart speaker that would also conveniently store that captured audio on the cloud for future reference. You can even measure these uh, signals from afar, say 10 meters away, using our favorite parabolic dish and get the same signals. Now, what are these signals? To dig in, it's most convenient to start by a synthetic image. Uh, for example, this one uh, portraying um, zebra stripes punctuated by a black rectangle. And if you record using a microphone a, a screen as it's rendering this, you'll probably see an image similar to the following, where that punctuation in the middle is clearly visible within the time trace during a single rendering of a single frame. And what we're actually observing for this screen is the line intensity modulated onto a 32 kilohertz acoustic carrier. In order to exploit this, you need to cope with additional challenges. There is significant frequency drift and time jitter. There is abundant noise. And there is redundancy between frames that we would like to exploit. We cope with this using custom digital signal processing algorithms and trace merging, piped into deep learning in using a convolutional neural networks, culminating in a classifier that can tell what your colleague is up to. Optimistic. We can this way distinguish not just uh, the nature of the activity, but also which website is being browsed between 100 websites with excellent accuracy. We can extract text that is rendered on screen. And in case the victim is typing on a virtual on-screen keyboard, we can extract the keystrokes. All of this goes to show that indeed the picture is worth a 1,000 words. Because by the time you've spoken a 1,000 words, we probably detected which picture you're looking at. <laughs> and for additional words, please see our paper. Thank you.